All right, everybody. Today, we're gonna work on this uh, automatic transmission fluid, change out the filter, put a bunch of new fluid in it and all that. Um, no clue when that was done last, uh, if ever. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, the other issue is I found this on a bunch of different places around the car, up by the power steering pump. Uh, you'll see it here on the rear diff, sorry for the finger. Um, but it's there too, is this tan stuff. I don't know what it is. Um, I could probably look it up and figure it out. I'm sure some of you guys know what it is. Uh, I'm suspecting people sprayed it on there to try to prevent some leaks, uh, to hide leaks. Um, found a few things like that on this car that weren't what they were advertised. But uh, anyway, we're gonna work on taking this apart. We're gonna get the drain plug there uh, out, drain it down. I've got a bigger bucket this time. You can see I did clean up all the oil from before. Just took a about a roll of paper towels, but anyway, um, got that done. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, pop out the drain bolt and then we're gonna work on uh, taking this down, go through all the process of getting this done. We'll see what kind of fluid comes out of it, but that's what we're doing. So if you wanna see how this turns out, um, please subscribe. Uh, and then uh, you can always come back and see what else we're doing to this thing because there's gonna be quite a list. Okay, good news. First up, um, there you can see just a little three inch ratchet with a H5 uh, uh, Allen wrench thing on there. Uh, just gave it a little bit of pressure and it turned on me, so uh, no issues, didn't strip out. So I'm just going to start working on backing that out, get all the fluid down into here, and see what comes out. There it is coming out. Um, I mean, it does have a red tinge to it, but uh, as you look down in there, I would say there's, it's not looking the newest. So it could have been in there a while. And then there's the, that's all it was holding it in there, that little, uh, little bolt right there. So that's it. So we'll let this keep draining. And then the uh, next thing we gotta do is go up there to the torque converter. If we're lucky, the drain plug on that is aiming down, but it's probably not. So let me go up there and we'll check that and look into it, see what we gotta do next. We may have to turn the motor. Okay, so what we gotta do is look up in there in that larger hole out of the ones you see and see if we can see a drain bolt, which we don't. So because of that, we're gonna have to uh, go up front, put a bar on this thing and uh, try to rotate the motor until we get it around and see if there's a drain bolt there. Um, I don't have a helper, so I'm gonna have to go and uh, turn it some and then come back and check it. Just go back and forth until I get it done. As you can see, somebody sprayed more of this goop. I smeared some of it off of my finger, so I, I assume it's like some kind of seal thing. Somebody's just trying to keep stuff from leaking. You can see there's some fluid leaking right there, so that's alarming as well. Um, and you can see it right here. That's kind of alarming because uh, it could mean some kind of seal up here is give way as well. So we'll see. Um, the more I work on this car, the more I'm concerned that there's bigger problems than I even know. All right, guys. Uh, to turn the motor, you need a uh, 22 millimeter socket. Stick it right here on the uh, the bolt in there. Turn it clockwise. I just got my breaker bar on it here. So anyway, I'm going to turn it like uh, basically go uh, about a half a turn. Uh, half a rotation around, it's about 180 degrees or so. See what I get down there on the uh, torque converter and uh, come back and turn it some more if I need to. Okay, there's not a lot of room down here so I'll do the best I can on the camera, but that's what you're looking for. So I'll be honest with you, um, get a second person if you're ever gonna do this. Cause I did it uh, myself and I went back and forth from the front of the car to the back of the car, front of the car to the back of the car. I'd say easily, about 25 times um, and once you get to where you can actually even see the drain plug anywhere within these holes um, the difference between lined up and all the way over here where you can barely see it and all the way over there where you can barely see it is literally like a degree or something so anyway that's what you're looking for so we're gonna go ahead and uh, pop that thing out and drain that out too all right so um, since we drained the uh, torque converter. I went ahead and started pulling bolts off. Um, those are the bolts right there. That's the back two. But there's six bolts around here. 
um, pretty easy to find. You can see like right there on the corner. So all four corners and then halfway down both sides um, is where that stuff is. So here's this reservoir. And then I'm not sure if you can see it from on top of here. There's a hose that's holding on and that's what's keeping the whole pan come out. So I'm gonna get that little air hose right there, uh, bust it off of uh, the connection and then we'll be able to drop this whole oil pan and everything. But you can see up in there, we'll uh, get to the filter next. But anyway, that's where I'm at and we'll just keep on trucking. Okay, so here we go, got it out. So you can see that fluid in there. Um, I mean, like I said before, it is red. I wouldn't call it uh, the best, but I don't know. It's not the not like a black disastrous burn up mess either. Um, that little hose that I was trying to pop off, it's just right here. You just gotta get your hand up there and kind of pull on it a little bit. It came out. Obviously you can see that uh, there's been some leakage. Uh, this is all kind of dirty and nasty. There is, the gasket is still connected here. So I'll pull that off for you, but there's the gasket. See, it kind of goes down on top of the uh, rim there, but we'll get that pulled off, get everything clean. We'll clean the surface up underneath here. Um, make sure that's all good to go. Um, I gotta still gotta take the uh, filter out of there. So I'll do that next. Get the disassembly done, clean this thing out, and then we'll work on putting everything back in there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get this uh, filter out. So as you can see, we've got a screw here, Phillips. Um, so just pull that one out. There's one right there. And then there's one right there. So that's it. It should just be these three screws. Once we get these three screws out of here, then uh, we should be able to pull the filter down and get it out of here so we can do the last disassembly step we always have to do a little cleaning around the edges here we'll wipe that stuff down but uh we'll get that done more fluid coming out of there <laughs> just keeps coming here's the uh, old filter out you can see down in the hole there um both of those holes there you can see down in and I mean, it looks kind of dirty to me, but we'll get the new one in it. So now in the daylight, I want to show you what this transmission fluid looks like that came out of the uh, transmission. We put that liquid molly back in it, but this is what was in there. I'll uh, dip down here so I can show you. I mean, if you tip it up like that, you can see there's some red to it when it's real thin like that. But when you put it down, I mean, it is just black. So really no idea when that was ever changed, but I'm glad we got that stuff out of there. All right, so we started putting the new stuff back on. So I went ahead and put the uh, new filter on. Um, just those three screws. Uh, I got all three of them started. I kind of walked them all up about the same that way it went up nice and flat. It doesn't really, didn't feel like it really indexed on those uh, connectors or anything. Um, you know, on the top side, it just kind of lines up. So I'm trying to make sure it was nice and straight and got it up there, got all the screws snugged up, just hand tight. Um, but now I think we'll uh, clean off these edges a little bit and then work on getting that pan back on here. All right. So the oil pan's back on, or sorry, the oil pan, I was saying, the uh, transmission pan is back on. Um, I just started uh, the bolts, I didn't tighten them all up uh, at first, just got them started and then um, moved around, kind of walked them up a little bit so that it went up straight, and then went around and cinched it up at the end. So it's all, it's all on here now. Um, there you go, all ready to go. Now, what we gotta do is swing back around here, 
and fill up that little uh, white, uh, whatever you want to call that thing, reservoir. Yeah, we'll fill that up once it's full. Then we'll run the car a little bit, fill up the torque converter. You know, just back over here. And then uh, we'll fill up some more and run it some more and do what we got to do till we get it where it's topped off and uh, in good shape. So now we're going to get ready to put the fluid in this thing. So here's the liquid molly fluid that came uh, to stuff I ordered from SCP. This little joker here is a little uh, fluid pump I got from uh, Harbor Freight. It's like 10 bucks. Uh, I think Pittsburgh is a brand, but uh, hopefully this will work. We can just screw around on top of that thing. I got a couple of long. Uh, uh, tubes there that you can put on hard tubes you can put on that and then the soft tube goes up into the reservoir on the transmission so we're going to get this thing set up and see if we can start pumping some fluid in there okay so here you go here's my contraption things hooked up all you gotta do is pump this thing and uh moves the fluid over you can see it already starting to build up in the reservoir so we'll just keep pumping and uh Go till we get the reservoir full and then run the car for a little bit and then fill it up again. So that's just what we'll keep doing until we get it all topped off. All right, everybody, uh, just wanted to reference the manual here. Uh, I was able to download all the shop manuals for the uh, 928. And I just wanna make sure I, I pass along exactly how it's supposed to work. So you can see in the manual right here, um, ATF level check is carried out when the engine uh, is idling in neutral so when you're checking that you need to get the uh, car jacked up level on jacks and jack stands and then crank the car put it in neutral uh, let it run for one to two minutes and then start checking to see where the uh, fluid level is and there's you know hot and cold and that kind of stuff here's a good picture in the manual shows you right here where uh the lines are you're supposed to look at and the temperature and all that stuff so we uh just make sure you're setting it at that so we did look number three with a pretty cold engine uh and transmission and stuff and uh got it to where the level sat right there it will keep sucking that fluid out of there you have to keep putting more and more in so uh i think i got close to five liters worth of fluid in there um i'm sorry close to six liters worth of fluid in there so um, it will take quite a bit. So anyway, that's what the manual says, how to do it. And uh, make sure you get it to the right level because it says bad things happen if you're too full or too low. So anyway, that's what the manual says. Okay, so we got the car running. Uh, I ran it a couple times for like 30 seconds. Uh, came back, topped off the fluid, ran it again, topped off the fluid. And then at the end, uh, after I had it pretty well topped off, then I just ran through the gears. Uh, you know, just out of park, in reverse, 